Hello, so in today's class, uh, we will look at the uh, next proposition. So, proposition uh, 2 states that uh, the outer measurements are uh, countable seven. So, let us state the proposition. So, let frequent A and B a countable collection of sets. Of the all numbers then uh, the proposition C states that uh, n star of mean and a it will be less than or equal to summation uh, n star of a n. so uh, the measure uh, n star will be uh, countable sub other so uh, that's the meaning of and start completely So we are taking mean uh, and a n. So the countable collection of the real numbers and we start of mean and a will be less than or equal to uh, summation and start of. So let us uh, prove this result. Now if uh, one of the a n's uh, is infinite, so if one of the sets A n is an infinite outer measure, uh, then uh, the inequality will hold uh, trivially. If m star of A n A the group, uh, infinity on a group, so m of union of A n will be always less than or equal to, so you will get less than or equal to infinity. So this uh, result will uh, hold. So let us first try that. So if uh, one of the uh, sets A n has so, infinite outer measure uh, the inequality holds and now let us uh, look at the case where all the n star of a n uh, are finite. So, in that case we need to show that n star of a n will be less than or equal to summation n star of a n. So, if uh, n star of a n is finite, so then uh, for given epsilon greater than 0, uh, in it, for given epsilon greater than 0, so if m star of a n is uh, finite, so if uh, number sets in the outer measure of finite order, so if uh, number union of a n in the so, this is some subset of real numbers. So, you can uh, find a cover for this one. So, uh, a n uh, will be contained in uh, some uh, union over i n. So, then, uh, union of a n in a particular set a n. So, a n in a this set a n we can find a cover of the form union i uh, capital i suffix here in the one i in the so 2 on in the middle i 2 i in the so so number sets in the measure of i in the angle so for this set a n uh, you can find a cover where your i n is open Intervals. Open intervals of so, the form J in order, open cover and the other two, so A will be uh, contained in this. So, for any epsilon greater than 0, then uh, summation over I, L of I, L I, this will be less than M star of A N plus epsilon by 2 raised to S. So, for some uh, epsilon greater than 0, and if A N is contained in uh, union of i n uh, then uh, this inequality will hold. So, m star of a n uh, plus epsilon by 2 raised to n will be uh, greater than summation over i n of i n i for some particular epsilon greater than b. So, if uh, m star a n is finite uh, then uh, given epsilon greater than 0, then the countable collection uh, 
so let us take the count of the collection to be sequence n i uh, where the sum is upon i so the index is i of open interval such that so a is contained in uh, union over i capital i and i and you can find an epsilon such that the summation over i length of i and i will be less than n star a n plus epsilon by c raised to n. And now, uh, number it will set in the case on epsilon. Number a n union of a n plus a n plus a particular set. Now, um, in this will hold for every set. That is why we say all a n plus cover the number of the So, we have a countable cover for uh, A. Yeah. So, uh, as we know, uh, countable union of uh, countable sets uh, will be again countable. So, we have to say all A and A countable covers on the other. So, E covers in the union at the combo, we have actually union of A and A in the cover article. So, union of A and we will again have a uh, countable cover. Okay. Uh, so now uh, this uh, collection union over n. So we have the individual covers over a cover on the sequence uh, i and i over a collection on uh, the sequence capital I and I. Now, uh, there are uh, n countable uh, sets A n. So, all the covers in the union. So, uh, this is countable since the union of countable number of countable collections And uh, also union over n is sequence n i over i covers uh, union a. Because we have a union cover the union on the union. So this is definitely going to cover union a. So therefore n star of uh, union A n will be less than or equal to summation over n i length of uh, i n i. So take the length of all this open interval. So n star of union A n will be less than or equal to this. So this can be written as summation over n summation over i n of i n and now number we do inequality forms we there no so summation over i n of uh, i n i would be less than n star a n plus epsilon by t raised to n so this will be so using that inequality here so that will be less than uh, summation over n so we are going to get n star a n plus epsilon by t raised to now this will be equal to means uh, uh, this will be the first term will be summation over n n star a n now uh, here n varies from from one to infinity for randomized series namaka epsilon for the so you will have summation n equal to one to infinity one by two raised to n so this will be summation over n n star a n plus epsilon so this is a geometric series so the sum will be uh, a by uh, 1 minus r so that will be 1 by 2 by 1 minus 1 by 2 so this will be equal to 1 so uh, this will be summation over n n star a n plus epsilon so uh, we have got n star of uh, union a n 
that is left turner equal to summation over n n star of a n plus epsilon now uh, epsilon can be any arbitrary positive number so this inequality will hold for any epsilon greater than zero so um, therefore we will get n star of a n n less than or equal to summation of star of a so since epsilon is an arbitrary uh, positive number uh, so we will get n star of a n a n less than or equal to summation n star so this will be three fifty. So uh, the outer measure uh, n star will be countably summed.